Six. At this point, it is recommended to start jumping through whenever you see him get ready for a big stomp. It's just good practice, honestly, because he's going to be stomping a line. Jumping is probably the biggest asset in this fight. Step seven, he has a axe slam followed by one of his regular combos. Do a better job at not getting squished and then, and then avoid the two attacks following. Step eight, usually you want to watch out because he will, in many cases, slam his own axe into the ground creating AoE. Whereas in this case, I broke his guard, but that is definitely something he does a lot and actually is something that usually gets me. Punish the old boy. Step nine, he does this huge wind up when he's doing his first phase change. It's at this point you want to get a little bit of damage in, but watch out because he's going to come down heavy and it's going to cover pretty much the whole arena. You can roll through, but jump in. It's a little bit easier and you can always get your jump and heavy attacking on the way down.